Did you know that one of the most recognizable fashion brands in the world got its start in a tiny apartment in New York City with just $2,000 and a dream? Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of the most iconic fashion brands of our time, Calvin Klein. From its humble beginnings to its meteoric rise to success, this brand has captivated the hearts and minds of people all around the world. But how did it all begin? What were the secrets to its success? And what can we learn from its failures? In this video, we'll explore the history of Calvin Klein, its founders, and the ups and downs that have made it the household name it is today. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn everything you ever wanted to know about Calvin Klein. Founding and Early Days Fashion designer Calvin Klein was born in the Bronx in 1942, and from a young age, he was obsessed with fashion. He attended the High School of Art and Design before studying at the Fashion Institute of Technology. After graduating, he began working in the fashion industry, designing for several well-known brands. But it wasn't until 1968 that Calvin Klein launched his own eponymous fashion label, alongside his childhood friend, Barry Schwartz. With just $2,000 in startup capital, the duo rented a small studio apartment in New York City's York Hotel and began creating their first collection of women's coats. The early days were tough. The two of them had to do everything themselves, from designing to cutting fabric to selling their creations to local boutiques. But despite the challenges, Klein and Schwartz were determined to succeed. Their hard work paid off. And by the early 1970s, Calvin Klein was one of the hottest fashion brands in New York City. The brand's signature minimalist aesthetic, featuring clean lines and neutral colors, struck a chord with consumers who were looking for chic, understated clothing. One of Klein's early successes was a line of designer jeans that he launched in 1978, which quickly became a cultural phenomenon. The brand's provocative advertising campaigns, featuring images of young models in tight-fitting jeans, caused a sensation and helped to cement the Calvin Klein brand as a household name. Despite the brand's success, the early days weren't without their challenges. In fact, in 1979, Klein was famously sued by the French fashion house Yves Saint Laurent, who accused him of copying their designs. Klein responded by saying, quote, I'm flattered to be copied by such a great designer, in a nod to Saint Laurent's legendary status in the fashion world. Through it all, Calvin Klein remained dedicated to his vision of creating high-quality, stylish clothing that was accessible to everyone. And as we'll see later in this video, this commitment to excellence would help the brand weather the ups and downs of the fashion industry for decades to come. Rise to Success as the 1980s dawned, Calvin Klein was riding high on a wave of success. The brand had become known for its clean, minimalist designs and had expanded its offerings beyond jeans to include clothing, accessories, and fragrances. In 1982, the brand launched its first fragrance called Calvin, which was an instant hit. Over the years, Calvin Klein fragrances would become one of the brand's most successful product lines. Klein's success was also due in part to his innovative marketing strategies. He was one of the first designers to incorporate celebrities into his advertising campaigns, featuring the likes of Brooke Shields and Mark Wahlberg in his ads. The campaigns were often controversial, featuring provocative imagery that pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in mainstream advertising. But despite the controversy, the Calvin Klein brand continued to soar, becoming one of the most recognizable names in the fashion industry. The brand's influence extended beyond the world of fashion. In the 1990s, Calvin Klein helped to popularize the trend of wearing underwear as outerwear, with its iconic Calvin Klein waistband becoming a status symbol for young people around the world. By the end of the 1990s, Calvin Klein had become a household name, synonymous with sophisticated, understated style. But even as the brand baked in the glow of its success, Klein himself was beginning to grow restless. In 2003, he shocked the fashion world by announcing that he would be retiring from the brand that he had built from scratch. Despite Klein's departure, 
The Calvin Klein brand continued to thrive under the guidance of new creative directors, and today, it remains one of the most iconic fashion brands in the world. Its legacy continues to inspire new generations of designers, and its impact on the fashion industry is still felt today. It just goes to show that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of innovation, anything is possible. Financial Insights Despite Calvin Klein's retirement, the brand continues to be a financial powerhouse. In 2021, Calvin Klein's parent company, PVH Corporation, reported revenue of $7.8 billion, with the Calvin Klein brand accounting for a significant portion of that figure. The brand's success can be attributed to its consistent focus on quality and innovation, as well as its ability to adapt to changing consumer trends. With new collections and collaborations on the horizon, it's clear that the Calvin Klein brand will continue to be a major player in the fashion industry for years to come. Failures and Setbacks Despite the brand's incredible success over the years, Calvin Klein has also faced its fair share of failures and setbacks. One of the most notable of these was the controversy surrounding its 1995 ad campaign featuring a young Kate Moss. The campaign, which featured Moss posing in a provocative manner while wearing Calvin Klein jeans, was widely criticized for promoting unhealthy body image ideals and sexualizing underage girls. The backlash was so severe that the ads were eventually pulled from circulation, and the incident served as a cautionary tale for the fashion industry about the need to be responsible in advertising. Another setback for the Calvin Klein brand came in the early 2000s, when it began to lose relevance with younger consumers. The brand's minimalist aesthetic, which had once been cutting edge and innovative, began to feel stale and outdated. In response, the brand began to experiment with more flashy, colorful designs, but these efforts were largely unsuccessful. Perhaps the biggest failure for the Calvin Klein brand, however, was its ill-fated foray into the world of haute couture. In 1994, Klein launched a high-end fashion line called Calvin Klein Collection, which was intended to compete with the likes of Chanel and Dior. But despite critical acclaim for its designs, the line was a commercial flop, with high price points and limited distribution limiting its appeal to a niche market. Despite these setbacks, the Calvin Klein brand has managed to bounce back time and time again, thanks to its innovative designs and commitment to quality. With each new collection, the brand has proven that it has the resilience and staying power to overcome any obstacle. It just goes to show that even the most successful brands are not immune to failure, and that perseverance and adaptability are essential qualities for any business to have. Conclusion in the world of fashion, few names are as iconic as Calvin Klein. From its humble beginnings as a small coat shop in New York City to its status as a global fashion powerhouse, the Calvin Klein brand has had a remarkable journey. Along the way, it has faced its share of successes and failures, setbacks and triumphs. But through it all, the brand has remained committed to its core values of quality, innovation, and timeless style. As we look ahead to the future, it's clear that the Calvin Klein brand will continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world, cementing its place as one of the most important and enduring names in the world of fashion. Thanks for tuning in! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Explaining Business, for more valuable insights every week. Also, leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what other topics you'd like to see covered. See you in the next Business Explained.